I um, had a lot of time on my hands, and so I would exercise in the morning and at noon and in the evening, go out and run a couple of miles. And as I was pounding the pavement, I remember just sort of focusing and thinking, I want a business that is like the aerator screen that goes in a faucet. Now, you know what I'm talking about, that little screen that makes the water come out with air in it that doesn't splash, it just comes out as a nice stream. Imagine the person that had the patent on that. That person, if they just got a penny for every faucet that was installed in the United States, that's a wealthy person. So my concept that I was looking for was, I want to sell a product that everybody wants and there aren't very many competitors for. Well, good luck finding one of those, right? I mean, who doesn't want to sell a product that everybody wants and nobody else is selling? They just don't exist. But as I was doing this, it's, it, my mind was being prepared for a vision. And on uh, July 13th of 1995, I woke up about 4 in the morning and I had a dream, a vision. And that vision was a vision from God where I was told that my fame, my future, and my fortune were tied to the internet and helping people go do it. I literally heard that voice talk to me and say that when I woke up from a vision that was clear, crystal clear to me what I was supposed to do. Uh, at least seemed like it at the time. So, um, not having ever been on the internet, but during the summer of 1995 I was beginning to hear about the internet, kind of being technologically prepared for it because my Mexico business, I was literally selling information. You know, that's what the internet is all about, right? And so I was literally selling information to people through my magazine and I was selling them the ability to dial into a computer system that I had created with two modems on it that would allow them to dial into a database I had created where they could research and find companies in Mexico. I had over 23,000 Mexican companies on this database. And you could find out you know, who owned them and addresses and you know, what products they bought, what services they bought, what they sold. I mean, just all that kind of stuff is great data. And I was selling that information electronically but not through the internet. People would dial directly into my computer, get a password, and then they could access the information. So I understood the concepts of the internet, but I had never been on it, had never seen it. And on July 13th, I woke up in the middle of the night knowing that my future was tied to it. So I, the next day, I got on the internet, I went out, found an account, uh, got tied in. It took me maybe two days to get, a, you know, to get hooked up with an account so I could get on the internet. And I spent about 100 hours the next week glued to the computer, figuring out how this thing worked, and I figured out how to build websites. So the very first thing I did was create a website for my Mexico business, and I put the 12 issues in my magazine and my book online, and I made it possible for people to cross-index topics and, and all that sort of stuff and find the information as they'd scroll through and read about every, I don't know, screen. There would be a, a little link that would say, click here to exit. When they would click, they would go to a page uh, where they would be given the opportunity to buy my database. And I thought, well, let's try that. I've got it. Let's see if that works. Well, at the point in time that we were at, in the summer of 2000, excuse me, the summer of, of um, 1995, um, you know, I was receiving maybe 50 to to $100 a week uh, residual from people that were still sending me money for books and things like that off of my Mexico business. Um, within a couple of weeks of getting this website up, I was making two to three hundred dollars a week from people that were uh, buying my database because I was marketing it online. I even had somebody from Europe uh, wire me some money so that I would send it to them because the Europeans didn't have the problem with the devalued peso that we did, so they still thought there was a market, you know, there in Mexico. But anyway. Um, so that wasn't really quite working. I mean, a couple hundred, three hundred dollars a week is more than I was making, but still wasn't enough. So I tried building websites. I took an ad out in the Fort Worth Star Telegram, and I spent a hundred dollars for a little ad. You know, one of these little tiny ads, and uh, spent five hundred dollars run it for a week. I got one client for five hundred dollars to build a website. Um, well, I'm not much of a math genius, but I buck out and buck back doesn't do doesn't doesn't work for me. And so um, then I began thinking about the internet and thinking how this thing worked and it occurred to me that people that are selling homes want to use, would want to use the internet because it made so much more sense than having a printed book because back in the mid-90s, realtors were still printing MLS books. 
They'd print about twice a month. If your home was listed, it might have to wait two to four weeks to get into a book. Going, putting all that information online just made sense. But the MLS systems, the realtors, had not yet done that. So I conceived of this business model, went to the local board of realtors, presented a plan. They said, okay, let's do it. The plan was I would take the MLS information, put it on the internet, and make it possible for people to search the MLS on the internet. Um, Non-exclusive, it was just an open opportunity to do this. And so that was the genesis of my business plan that allowed me to start a company called FlashNet. Now FlashNet was initially designed as that, a real estate oriented uh, business. But because we, we had a business going with the internet that made sense, uh, we were able to raise some money. I met a partner that that uh, helped me raise uh, enough money to get the capital for the for the foundation of FlashNet, and so um, we we literally incorporated FlashNet in August. Now it was a very fast time frame from July to August, right? Things were moving quickly. So in August we incorporated FlashNet. We rented a space and we uh, hired our first uh, employee, which was a systems developer, systems administrator that you know, helped us put the, you know, the website computers together and all this sort of stuff. And, and so we, um, we created this, um, this internet company and our, our T1 lines that we ordered in September were installed on November 4th. Now we had uh, 45 modems hooked up to our, to our system to uh, let people from Fort Worth dial into our modems that would allow them to get on the internet. We had 45 of those sitting in a room and um, we were, my partner and I were looking at these one day and we were there just kind of blinking, not making any noise because nobody was dialed into them. And we were thinking, you know, we got all these, these modems, what happens if we don't sell enough internet access dial-up service to real estate agents? What are we going to do? So we, we thought of this idea that maybe we should try to let uh, computer stores uh, sell internet access for us while we were out there trying to approach the market, the realtors that we thought was where we wanted to go. As it turns out, uh, during the course of the month of November, uh, we sold 250 accounts. 50 accounts were to real estate people that we, that we sold by going out and pushing and pushing and pushing. The other 200 accounts were sold by five different computer stores to people that were buying a computer and had heard about the internet and didn't know what it was, but they wanted it, so they would sign up with a computer store and buy our service. Well, we weren't geniuses, but we also weren't stupid. Um, you know, if we sold 200 accounts to people that wanted them and didn't need it, and we only sold 50 accounts to people that needed it but didn't really want it, what does that tell you? Well, it tells you we were focusing on the wrong market. So in December, we began to focus our market on retail consumers. We began to advertise in the newspaper. We lowered our price a little bit from, from about $25 per month to about 